Hi folks, I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about the revenue flow in the Tensoft RDM software engine. And this will be both the, the business process flow as well as some of the philosophy or general model that we use to understand how revenue is created, flows through our engine, and then flows through to your ERP system and, and your reporting. So starting from left to right, on the left hand side we have a CRM, there's a gray arrow with the CRM, uh, RCM contract, ERP document. And this is really the source of the revenue transaction. This is how you go to market. And we'll come back and talk about that in a little more detail later. For now, it's really, that's the place where your revenue starts. And, and the main thing will be, when we come back and talk about it, is understanding how you go to market and how we can best capture the right transaction to push into the revenue engine. Moving past the sales transaction area with the, the people icon straight into the revenue engine, our goal is to capture something that's a revenue agreement, which is a living document that will manage deferred revenue for you for the life of that deferred revenue until it's fully realized. And so when you bring in a document, we're looking to bring this in systematically. We can have document types that have workflow around them. We can tie rules to the SKUs on the document so that each SKU knows this is a SKU that's amortized over 32 months. This is a SKU that's amortized over uh, 12 months. Or even this is a SKU that's split three different ways and amortized or, or supported different ways long percent complete, milestone, amortization, immediate, whatever it is. We, we can tie the rules to the SKUs. Another thing we can do in the revenue engine is if you have a, a gap accounting requirement or a, re, a, a financial statement reporting requirement that says you need to reallocate revenue among the lines on the revenue agreement, we can apply an independent fair value to help you reallocate the revenue. And this would be for the various kinds of gap or, or, or other types of financial statement reporting requirements that say you need to look at multiple elements on a single sale and, and reallocate the revenue. So we, we have this document that comes in that we take and we handle in a systematic way that we then becomes your revenue subledger. And from the subledger, it's really a compute post report process where we go through and say, okay, let's compute revenue for the week. Let's post it to the ERP ledger. Let's report and analyze. And the analysis will be everything from Show me the revenue flow, show me the revenue deferred ledger, show me the revenue forecast. Let me slice and dice the revenue by different variables. But really what we have for this philosophy is that we need to capture the right document, put in the revenue engine, have the revenue engine format it correctly in a systematic process-based manner so that we then can compute, post, and report. So returning to the left-hand side of this document at this point, we're really looking for how can we capture the right information in your process, in your go-to-market model. And this is where our, our, our study has discovered that or, or identified and, and modeled a four to five and, and actually a half dozen different models, depending on whether you're direct or indirect in terms of your sales process, the different models for how you go to market. And so you might have a high volume web sale where you're looking for a lot of small consumer transactions. You might have a larger subscription. You might have a, an enterprise agreement where you have a detailed contract with your customer that has multiple parts, whether it's a set of fee and a subscription or a software and a maintenance or whatever it is in terms of managing a multi-part agreement. Or it might be an ERP document, a sales order, an invoice. And so, we have these different transaction flows based on how you go to market. And back to this blue area here for the sales transaction, our goal there is to capture the information the best and most efficient or effective way possible. So we, if, we, if we step back and talk about the flow as a whole, it's understanding your go-to-market model, how you do business with your customer, capturing with the right technology the sales transaction that we can then format in the revenue engine in a streamlined, consistent manner. And so we format, 
compute post report and that is the end end flow for the, the revenue engine thank you